Good morning and welcome back to the Atlanta Real Estate Forum radio show. I am your host, Todd Schnick, joined as always by my friends and colleagues, Carol Morgan and Todd Dunblood. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Happy that spring is in the air. Spring is in the air. We're knee deep into March already. I cannot believe it. I am ready for it. We have a great show today. Say hello to our first guest. His name is Corey Hunter. He's the Vice President of Sales for Woodman Insulation. Welcome to the show, Corey. Thank you. It's good to have you. Thanks for making time to join us. Corey, before we get into it, take a second. Tell us a little bit about you and your background. Uh, I've been in the construction industry for 15 years. I've, uh, my main focus has been insulation, and I've been with Woodman Insulation for 10 years. So tell us a little bit more about Woodman Insulation. Uh, Woodman Insulation has successfully been in business for 27 years. Uh, we have a great assembled, highly motivated team that's passionate about providing excellent service and the best products at the most competitive prices. Corey, let's say I'm uh, building a new house. What I mean, that's not the first thing that's going to leap to my mind is what kind of insulation should I need. You may have a different opinion, but what kind of things should I think about seriously in, in terms of insulating a new home? Uh, energy efficiency and comfort, definitely. Uh, the amount of money that you can you can save monthly could help you in the beginning as far as doing some interior upgrades that most people are focused on. And obviously, the the comfort issue is a, is a main concern today. Do you find that homeowners today are more focused on the type of insulation? Because it seems like they're more focused on energy efficiency. So absolutely, and it's it's interesting because most of the uh, the builders and homeowners that uh, we have the pleasure of doing business with are already very knowledgeable about the products, and most of them already know what they want, and uh, w which makes it interesting for us to to hear things from their perspective and uh, and how passionate and exciting they are about insulation, which is definitely. Been a, been a change in the industry. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> so before the show, we we're talking a little bit about, you know, my house is insulated by Woodman Insulation. Um, so I have, you know, uh, Pink Panther and, you know, high R value and all that, but I'm living in an eight or nine year old house. So, mm -hmm. eight or nine year old house, what should I be doing? What should I be looking for at this point? Well, in any house, there's always methods to do upgrades. Um, and you can always upgrade, put more insulation in. We have a great product now where a lot of people remove the attic insulation and they'll spray foam in the rafters. It creates the attic into a semi-conditioned area and really adds to the benefit of saving money monthly and also the comfort if you ever have problem areas, maybe in that, that back bedroom where you, where you have a child or a closet that's freezing cold, it alleviates that. I have a horrible problem area, so it sounds like we need to talk. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, so you're talking about icing or some sort of spray. Icing, open foam. cell, closed cell, just it's the, the pinnacle of insulation and uh, has really, really become popular. Well, Carol, you obviously know more about insulation <laughs> than I do. I know, I know more about uh, insulation yeah, than most women should uh, know. Yeah, well, let's step back a minute. Open cell, closed cell, what, and give us 101, insulation 101. Uh, open cell, it's, a, it's an open cell product. A lot of times you'll see it in the, in the rafters. Uh, it's always uh, had an ignition barrier added to it. Now Isonine's got a great uh, um, um, product out. Isonine Max has ignition barrier built into it, and that just kind of helps in case a fire breaks out or something like that to contain the fire. Uh, Close cell, great product. It's uh, usually used in, uh, maybe around, uh, like you see in hot tubs or, or wine, you know, if you have a wine cellar, things like that. And you can use it in your rafters also. It's a complete air seal. Now, we've been talking so far about, you know, the attic. All right, and how about exterior walls? Ex what kind of things can I do there? Exterior walls, uh, we can we can spray foam in the exterior walls. But what a lot of builders do is they'll do uh, we do a seal package with our with our caulk and foam sprays, and then we'll spray in a loose fill uh, fiberglass product. Has a high R value, and the builders love it because it's most cost effective. All right, we'll be back with Corey Hunter after this short commercial break. All right. And we're back with Corey Hunter, Vice President of Sales with Woodman Insulation. So, Corey, let's talk a little bit more. I know we, we talked about how you know, I could make some changes and do spray and insulation, but in general, how often should a homeowner look at replacing or updating their insulation? As, as, as far as replacing, the only time you need to replace it is if there's ever been any type of uh, fire damage, water damage, or infestation with rodents. As far as upgrading, you can always upgrade it. If there's any time there's a comfort issue or you want to save some more money monthly, which everybody does, there's always ways we can go out there, we can do an assessment and, uh, and give recommendations that will fit within your budget. Talk a little more about this assessment. I mean, the, the example Carol gave, I mean, there's this back room that's cold or hot, and it's very, very obvious. 
Uh, but I think of my, my own home, I mean, it's equally comfortable or uncomfortable depending on, on where I set the thermostat. I mean, how, how do you go in and really test and find out where the problem areas are? It's, uh, it, it, we have infrared cameras, which are great because it'll show the different uh, the thermal temperatures and where you're having issues with either leakage in the house. We have a duct blaster, which we can, we can operate and see if you have duct leakage. We also have a blower door test, and that gives you a reverse pressure to your house, and we can see where it's leaking and where we can seal. We can do post-seal packages. We can go up into the attic if there's a problem area. Usually a lot of these things are just visible and you can tell and determine, but with the, with the technology we have nowadays, we can pinpoint it and resolve it. Is there a cost to get that done, you know, come out and test my house? Sure. Uh, usually we charge a, a standard rate, and uh, if you decide to, to uh, do business with us, we'll just put that into the cost of uh, the job. So Perfectly reasonable. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Um, question just completely left of my mind. All right, so I'll just read so, Corey, I know you offer a number of other services. Tell us what Alts Woodman Insulation does. Absolutely. Uh, we do garage doors, uh, fireplaces, gutters, and metal. Wow. That's a lot. Good. So, garage, garage doors, far, fireplaces, and metal? Uh, metal. Metal accents, uh, roofing accents, bay tops, porch roofs, eyebrows. A lot of times we we'll go out to, uh, we do obviously do new construction, but also if somebody wants to uh, add, a, add a rear uh, uh, porch on their house, or if they want to change some shingles up, just improve the uh, curb appeal, uh, we'll go out there and we'll do that. Uh, I know somebody that attempted to repair a garage door opener recently and broke it worse than that was. So maybe we should talk about that after the show. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. definitely. But, yeah, I understand you're involved with the Builders Club Rewards. Absolutely. I uh, work closely with Connie Burney. It's a, a great incentive program. It, it enables our, uh, our builders to join. They're already purchasing the products. It's the same cost. They get their club points, and then they can trade them in towards travel or all these uh, really impressive list of products like plasma TVs, uh, riding lawnmowers, all these things. I was really impressed. Cool. That's very cool. Um, so it's getting warmer outside, and you offer outdoor fireplaces? Outdoor fireplaces, and surprisingly, they sell year-round. It, uh, it extends the season. It's uh, kind of when people always walk into a backyard and you see that outdoor fireplace, it's that wow factor, and uh, it's, they're just uh, really nice to improve the value of the home. That's very cool. I love the outdoor fireplaces. Of course, I'm a huge fan of s'mores. So, you know, having an outdoor <laughs> fireplace makes them oh so much easier to make, although you can make them in the microwave. <laughs> probably didn't know that, did you? Or in a gas cooker. I'm sure it doesn't have the same effect. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I want to go back to the, the energy savings idea. I mean, what kind of a, a return on investment can I, if I've got an older home, let's say, I'm going to bring you in to do that performance test we, uh, we talked about before. I mean, how likely is it that I'll wind up saving money in the long term? And, and if I'm going to, how much? Well, it, it depends on you know the situation, location of the home, and, and uh, the age, and what's existing in the house. It's uh, as far as getting a, a, a return on your investment, we can do the math on it and see when it would pay for the, the for the uh, for the process to be done that, that we recommend. Uh, but as soon as, as soon as we walk out of that house, it's amazing how many letters, emails, and calls we get about how immediately. Uh, the comfort has increased, and uh, and then of course a month later, wow, my energy bill has decreased, and it all it all varies, but it, it definitely is something you see immediately. Saving money on your energy bill is definitely top of mind. But what about rebates? Are there any kind of you know Georgia Power or any rebates out there for adding insulation or there, upgrading? There there are some good programs out there, and there's uh, there is one that the builders uh, Georgia Power is doing right now that the builders can can do a few upgrades and they get a rebate right back that's six hundred dollars. And I, and from what I understand from one of the building science experts, it's only uh, maybe four or five hundred dollars to increase uh, a few aspects of the house. So they get the $600 back, but yet they can market their homes and, and be able to provide to the customers a more energy efficient home. So it pays them to participate. Absolutely. All right. Well, Corey, I hate to say it, but we're out of time. Before we let you go, how can people get in touch with you and where can they learn more about Woodman Insulation? Uh, please visit our website, www.woodmaninsulation.com. Our phone number is 770-442-9089. Corey Hunter, Vice President of Sales with Woodman Insulation. It was great to have you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. All right. We'll be back after the deal today with Ada Love of Get More Curb Appeal.